So the OP1 WE3370 Kale Opto Max 58.5 grams. Different shape from end game gear here. Well, it looks similar there, the shape, but maybe a slightly higher hump, but it's going to be interesting to see. TTC Silver. GM2s on the side. Give it away all on the box now. Man. Let's have a look in the box, see what we've got. Pretty standard end game gear, usual dongle, USB C. I like the way they kink the cables on these. Spare skates. What the hell's that? Where they give you the option to put it on, bit cool. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Fifty-seven point eight eight. What we got? It's quite narrow. You can't you can't manipulate it like you'd expect to be able to do? If you know what I mean. Bit cool. Given this extra bit of skate positioning so you can adjust them and in the front when you put a slightly larger skate on and then a bit of a vibe here from uh, super light with that but you know, overall so far build quite a bit good like squeeze test there's no flex pretty solid it's a little bit smaller side buttons are good we kind of trimmed them down from the xm series They're quite a bit thinner aren't they they're not as big Intrude a little bit, pretty good. Flex on the mains, pretty tight. A little bit, but nothing to cry about. Squall wheel looks alright. It's quite small, it was quite low profile on the end game gear. Is it next to a Super Light 2 and a XM2 medium one? XM2 X2. Kind of similar distance, just a bit wider, but similar. I still think the Omrons are the nicer clicks for the Opto Max at the minute, you know. These feel nice though, they are just a little... They definitely have pre-travel on this one. Not bad, a little bit. Fraction. A bit more on that left one though. But, not bad. Kind of a weird skate design. But I do like how they're giving us the option to have larger skates. I still wish that people would just sand the base. Honest God, just make it flat and let you put your own skates on. That's what that's what we should have. Not positions for skates. I mean, I get like guidelines, but come on. Now so we got power on and off, mode button, standard logo. But yeah, okay. Overall coating wise, I mean, this has been I've been beating up this pulsar like that. But I've been I guess I could say I've been maining it. Pulsar one's a bit smoother. Arc's good deeper X, yeah, a little bit more control. I prefer the ice as well. So let's measure this puppy. It is a little bit smaller. So here it's okay, 56, 30. But here, that is pretty narrow. It's giving me uh, MZ1 vibes. Quite thin buttons on the uh, this mount. See that? See how thin they are Up against the super light. Just have a little bit of a lip, but and the reason why I don't like particularly thin buttons is if you watch this, right? So you push here, you can't see how they slightly bend. No, you probably only push at the end, but you end up with like you're a bit of a heavy clicker. I'm not, but if you are a little bit heavy, you can feel the button flex. No, not a major issue, but I don't like thinned out. I prefer these to stay thicker and a bit stronger. Thin front one. The sensor does look slightly forward. I mean, it's quite a bit forward actually.
where's the balance? So, let's over the sensor. Decent. Yeah, overall, I don't know. I think the thing that concerns me is a little bit thin in terms of the width. You could fingertip it, but actually, it looks a lot thinner than the Lamzu. But other than that, probably a very similar shape. Maybe a little bit longer. 